In this video, we're going to do our maze generation. So let's kick off Visual Studio. And we do not need to mess with root or player. So let's create a new source file. We're going to call this maze gen. And then we're also going to have a maze holder that will be our Godot script. So we also want header files for maze gen and maze holder. And make sure you pick header file. So we have a maze gen and a maze holder, C and header file. And then let's start with maze gen. And we're going to pound include random. And we're going to pound include stdlib. And then we are going to declare our class, maze gen. And for private variables, we are going to have a int maze width and a maze height. And then we're going to have a bool star star maze data. And an std mt19937 rng, that's our random number generator. And then for public, we are going to have a constructor that takes in an int width and an int height and a uint. 32t seed, which will default to zero. And then we need a destructor. And we want a void generate maze function. We also want void initialize random 32. And that's going to take in a uint 32t seed. And then we want bool is wall int column int row. That's to check if we are a wall or not in our generated output. So in the C++ file, pound include mazegen.h, and then we're going to do the constructor, taking in a width and a height, and a uint 32 t seed. And then we're going to call initialize random 32 from here, passing in the seed. And we are going to set maze width to W and maze height to H. And then we are going to declare maze data as a new bool star sub W. And for int x 0 to W, we are going to declare maze data sub x to equal a new bool array of size H. And then for int y equals 0, y is less than h, we are going to do if x mod 2 is 0 and y mod 2 is 0. Then we want maze data sub x sub y to equal false. Otherwise, we want maze data sub x sub y to equal true. And then in our destructor, we have if maze data, then we need to clean it up. So for int x equals 0 to maze width, we will delete maze data sub x. And then we will delete maze data and we'll set it to null. And then for our void maze gen initialize random 32, that takes in a uint 32t seed. If the seed is zero, we're going to make a random one. So std random device, and we'll call it rd, and then seed equals rd. And then outside of the if, rng.seed, and pass in seed. And that's all we need to do to initialize random. Now bool maze gen is wall, takes in an int x and an int y. And we are going to just return maze data sub x sub y.
And then for our void generate maze function, we are doing for int column zero to maze width. We're gonna increment by two in this one, so make sure column plus equals two, and then for int row equals zero to maze height. Same thing, row will increase by two, so row plus equals two. Then if row is equal to maze height minus one, and column is equal to maze width minus one, then we are in the bottom corner, and we want to leave that one alone. Otherwise, if row is equal to maze height minus one, then we are in the bottom row. So we want to open up the column plus one. So maze data sub call plus one, sub row equals false. Else if we want call is equal to maze width minus one, then we are in the eastmost column. And so we want to force row plus one to be open. So maze data sub call sub row plus one equals false. And then our else, that we don't need to declare an else if. We are going to do if rng mod two is zero, then we'll do maze data sub call sub, sorry, call plus one sub row equals false. Otherwise, we are going to do maze data sub call sub row plus one equals false. So we're either opening up below us or beside us, depending on the result of the random number. And that's it for our maze gen. Let's see that it builds, and it does, so let's get working on maze holder. So in the header for maze holder, pound include core Godot, of course, and pound include node 2D, because that's what we are. And then we want to pound include resource.h. Sorry, resource.hpp. And then pound include resource loader.hpp. And pound include core ref.hpp. And pound include packed scene.hpp. And pound include, of course, root.h and mazegen.h. And then we're in namespace Godot. We want our class maze holder to be public node 2D. And then we use our Godot class macro, pass in maze holder and node 2D. And then for private variables, we want mazegen pointer we'll call it pmaze, and we want a node 2d star 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 for maze nodes, and we want a Godot ref of type packed scene, and we'll call this one wall scene, and we want int maze width and maze height, and then for public we want a static void under underscore register methods and a void underscore ready. Then we want our constructor and destructor. And we also need to include that underscore init because 3.1. And then we want a void add walls to maze function. And then let's start on our C++ file. So pound include mazeholder.h, of course. And we're using namespace Godot. And then let's do our void mazeholder underscore reg register methods. 
and we're going to register method char star underscore ready and of course pass our pointer to the ready function and then we want our void underscore init which we don't need anything in it and our constructor and destructor our constructor we're going to put resource loader pointer uh, we'll call it rl and we're going to assign it resource loader colon colon get singleton and then we are going to set wall scene to rl dot load and then the resource is res colon slash slash wall dot tscn or whatever you called it in godot and then our destructor we need to delete our pmaze and we'll set pmaze to null also and then if maze nodes we need to clean that up and so for int x equals zero to maze width we will delete maze nodes sub x and then outside the for loop we will delete maze nodes and we'll set it to null then for void maze holder underscore ready we want maze width to be cast from root maze dimensions dot x minus two and maze height will be cast from int root maze dimensions dot y minus two and that's because we have outer walls and then p maze will be a new maze gen and we'll pass in maze width and maze height and we will do a seed of one for debugging that's that will always get the same results every time and then pmaze.generateMaze then we want maze nodes equal new node 2d star star an array of size weight maze width and then we want for int x equals zero to maze width maze nodes sub x equals new node 2d star and an array of size maze height and now we have our node 2d pointers so now we want to add walls to the maze and then let's declare our function void maze holder add walls to maze so in here we want for int x equals zero to maze width and then inside that for y equals zero to maze height and then inside of our inner y loop we are going to do if p maze is wall x y then we want to make a name for it so we're going to make a char array of size 256 called name and then s printf underscore s name 256 and we'll do the format is wall per percent d underscore percent d and then pass in x and y for the decimals and then we want a node 2d star n to equal maze nodes sub x sub y to equal node 2d star cast from wall scene instance and so that's instancing our wall scene into our maze node and our temporary pointer so then n set name to name and n set position to vector 2 x times 128 y times 128 and then add child n and let's make sure that it builds and we have a warning because we are doing 
integers instead of floats for our vector two. So let's switch that to, I need to put my decimal point. So now we should get rid of the warning. And then we need to go to get a library and we're going to pound and include maze gen or maze holder, sorry. And then we are going to register class maze holder. And we'll make, we'll build that and then we will run Godot. And we need to attach it to our inner walls node. So this is called maze holder. And we're going to also call the file maze holder. And then let's create our native script. And then we need to drag over the library. And we should be good. Let's run it. And we have a maze. <laughs> 